Hey guys, so this is a really quick um, guide in how to install mods from both DA Tools Mod Manager and then Frosty Mod Manager. There's uh, two mod managers, they use different file types and it's very frustrating when you want to use two sets of mods and you have two mod installers. So this is how you get them to both work. It's a little tedious, but it is easy. I recommend doing this with a fresh install of the game. And of course, as always, back up your patch file, which is, you know, under update um, patch and make sure that is all backed up. I personally also like to back up the whole game because it just, I like to have a fresh install every time I'm changing my mods because there's always remnants of something. So once your game is all installed, um, you're gonna load your your DA tools first. You always have to do DA tools first. Um, being a creature of habit, um, I always install the official patch first before installing any mods. Um, this is just one of those things that this is how I do it. I probably don't need to do it this way, but again, creature of habit. So once you've uh, installed the, you know, the main patch, um, load your DA tools again. Um, again, being a creature of habit, I do like to always load the game first to make sure it's working. I do this with every single step because it really sucks if you do, you know, steps one through 10 and then you didn't realize step something on step three stopped working. Um, but I'm pretty confident that this is fine. So now you're going to install your mods as you usually would. Um, make sure you have all the mods you're going to want because it is a pain in the patootie to remedy this later. Um, so I'm just going to hit this, let that do its thing. So um, I'm just going to make sure my game works. Uh, just give me a second. Do, 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 do. Typically at this point, if your game is loading, you are fine. Um, but again, uh, old habits die hard. Um, and I'm very, <laughs> very meticulous when installing mods. Um, so once you know your game is working and I can see my basic mods are working, um, we can turn this off again. Thank you, computer. Alrighty, so now you're going to um, keep Frosty Mod Manager over there. And this is where it gets tricky. Um, not tricky, just tedious. Um, so you're gonna go into here and you are going to copy this, all this, and you're going to put it in here. Uh, replace the files in the destination. Once that's done, you're going to delete this folder. You're gonna make sure that that folder is gone. And again, just make sure the game loads. Do -do -do -do. It's loading, I'm fine with that. You know, I can continue with my life knowing that that's working. So now we're gonna do the Frosty Mod Manager part. Um, so I'll put the link in the uh, description where you can get Frosty Mod Manager, but you're just gonna open the file and put that in your Dragon Age Inquisition file. I already had it installed, so. Um, and again, when you download your mods for Frosty Mod Manager, you, um, goodness gracious, I don't think I have it installed. Hang on a second. Where are you? Give me a second. Ah, there we go. All right. So I actually 
actually forgot to put the mugs in there. Um, so Frosty Mod Manager always uh, has two files. It will have this and an archive file. Make sure you have them both. And you're going to load um, Frosty Mod Manager. Make sure you always load these as admin. Um, find your mod folder. Well, find your, um, your game first. And as I said, I already had this installed, but you would um, click here to import mods. You would find your mod folder and simply just click apply mods. And once you've done this, click launch. It will ask for admin access, which is just done. Um, now this part takes a while because it's actually installing the mod as it talks. Um, also make sure you back up your mod, uh, folder because that will actually disappear when this is done. So yeah, you're going to want to do that. So again, go back to making coffee. It's basically doing exactly what DA tool suite does. You just don't get a nice, you know, installation bar to stare at. So from here on out, you will have to load your game from Frosty Mod Manager. Um, otherwise, the mods won't show up in the game. So you can do a shortcut. Um, however you want to do that. Now, if you want to install additional Frosty mods, you just do what I showed you before. Um, the absolute heart-wrenching part is that if you have forgotten to install the mod via um, DA Tools, you are going to have to start over um, because it wants a vanilla file, vanilla patch file, and sometimes it, it doesn't even like it when, um, so if you can see there, there's Cullen's second scar from this uh, Frosty mod. Um, so if you try to load DA tools now, um, it will want the official patch file. Now you could have backed that up, but sometimes because of how Frosty manages the game, when it's um, installing, it'll say these files are missing. There's an exception problem here. That is why, as I said at the beginning, you will probably benefit from just backing up the vanilla game and putting it somewhere. Um, that saves you having to re-download the whole thing and do a vanilla install every time you're changing the mods. So that is how you do it. You DA tools, Frosty Mod Manager, and off you go. Um, reshade projects um, you can install whenever because they are you know manually put in but otherwise you are done and you can now enjoy your game and as heartbreaking as this is I just realized I forgot to put a mod in. Tee -hee.